Hello. Welcome to my channel. The time now is 4.09 p.m. February the 6th Monday. My topic today is about part two of the American flag for what it stands for. Before I do anything else, I almost forgot to give praise to the most high, the most important person in my life besides my wife and my, and my sons. And today we're going to discuss about this flag and the meaning behind it. It may mean something great for other people that come in like an immigrant or don't know nothing about the flag or what it means. The American flag wasn't great to African Americans or indigenous people of this land. And I don't, I'm not patriotic to the flag. No mean no disrespect to anybody because I know there's a lot of people that fought in the war and I respect those people that fought in the war to make it safe for other people and stuff. But like my topic, it was not nice to American Indians or African Americans that helped paint the way for other people in this country. And and this also goes out for people that keep saying in natives that's on reservation is not in natives. They are so because I have people that lived on, on, on reservation and, and, and that's my mother's side of the family. Back to what I was saying. To some people, the flag is great and stuff like that, but I want to get to the real nitty gritty. The American flag, if it wasn't for Native Americans fighting in the war, it wouldn't be safe for anybody to come in this country. And the country was seized. So that's why I try to explain to these audit people, they, they respect all that stuff, but it was illegal, you know, and stuff like that. And something else. The, like I was watching two African American brothers today, they was watching about Francis Scott Key. They didn't understand about the flag. People, yeah, people fought for the flag, but they wanted to keep their freedom for themselves, not for other people, only for themselves. And it was not nice to Native American Indian. The flag that stormed on Indian land and this murdered Indians. The United States Army did that. They wasn't great to Indians back then. And to this day, Indians are still being mocked on, you know. And it's not a great thing, you know. Um, like I said before, my uncle fought in World War II. He's 99 years old. He lived in Fort Lauderdale. And he said, um, everybody got a right to their own opinion. And he said he just did it for a paycheck. So everybody got some a veteran got mad when I said that. I said, "Hey, you you only fought in the Vietnam War. My 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 uncle was way before you. He fought in World War Two. That was back in the nineteen forties and stuff like that. And and um, he was Native American Indian. My uncle. He's the only one of my uncles that's alive now. Uh, my grandmother had twenty children, ten girls, ten boys, and all my uncles are deceased. All of my aunts are deceased." Except for one, that's my brother, my uncle, I mean Herbert. He told me a lot of things about the flag. And Francis Scott Key was a lawyer, if y'all know, from Maryland. But the flag may mean something different to other people. To me, my grand, my cousin used to tell me, the red in the flag, that's the Indian's blood that was spilled for this country. It's a slap around the face. The white is for European descent people and the stars represent stolen states. But everywhere Europeans went on the continent of America and fought the Indians and conquered the land or they didn't murder the whole tribe, they would uh, um, you be under their rule, their, their system, their laws, their religion. Indians had their own beliefs. And yeah, Indians fought against one another. So I heard a white guy said to me, well, thank God you acknowledge that Indians used to fight other Indians like before white people came here. I said, yeah, but they didn't fight on extermination or, uh, or, or trying to wipe one another out. They fought for food, survival, and their own beliefs. 
that some Indians didn't even war with other Indians. They was in their own territory. When Europeans came here, they found out which natives they didn't get along. So they got them to join the army or something like that, make them fight amongst themselves. That's what I want to say. But getting back to the flag, I never saluted the flag in school. Well, I'm not patriotic. When I say that, people think I'm disrespect. I'm not disrespecting the flag because those colonies, all them uh, 15 stars well, that was on the flag at that time, those was all white colonies that they had colonized the country. So all them people that was fighting, I don't even think none of them people was a person of color that was uh, um, on those slave ships that the British had. I think it was just Europeans fighting white of uh, uh, descendant Euros. That's what, how I see it. Uh, they were fighting for their own self, not for no person of color and stuff like that. That's why I was trying to explain to the two uh, African American brothers I was watching them. They didn't, they don't, didn't understand about what the flag represented. The flag, to me, this is worse than the Confederacy flag, or even worse. And, uh, and, um, because they gave the order, Lincoln, when the, when the Confederacy soldiers, like I said in my other video, when the Confederacy soldiers rendered, Abraham Lincoln gave the orders to kill all He didn't want no prisoners. Why would you do that? That's why a lot of people in the South still don't like people from up here. They go, I heard a guy call them Yankees. They call them uh, us Yankees because we from up here. And... Stars, like I said, the star. How could you honor something like that? Like I said before, I respect people that fought in the war, especially the indigenous Navajo code talkers. A lot of people don't know about them. I met some of them when they was alive back in 2004 when I went to Foxwood. Um, uh, some two of them into the powwow, and if it wasn't for the indigenous people of the land that people try to put down, nobody would be safe because they didn't call out them codes, you know, they, and, and stuff like that. They they were telling them, them the planes where they dropped the bombs at because they were speaking their native tongue. And the Japanese didn't understand that. So I know they didn't want to give them no credit. And um, like a lot of people don't like Trump, but I respect what Trump did. He had the natives, the code talkers in the White House. No other president had never brought them in, in the House and then hard and respect them. He did. And, um, that's why I don't, I don't, not patriotic to the flag, because the flag was not nice to Indians. The flag was like, um, almost like gang colors to Europeans. They would fight for something that didn't belong to them, and which they did. And that's why uh, people always hold that. I never salute the flag, I never put my arm up or hand up and stuff like that, because I was taught that the, the flag, I mean, you have to have. You know, the military now that anybody can come to this country, which people still come to this country illegal and get help. So to me, that's all illegal. Like immigration, or oh, European immigrants started immigration, you know, to keep track of every other person coming to this country. So in a way, you're still under their rule. When no black man or Native American Indian started immigration, and, uh, and what I say before, they respect the flag because they think this is a, a home land of the free and home of the brave and is not for certain people. And I don't mean to bust nobody bubble. I'm not patriotic to the flag. I say it again and again. Some people want to fight me. Veterans want to fight me. I got my own opinion. You got your own opinion. Yeah, you know, but all I'm telling the truth, the flag, you can look it up. The American flag used to march on the Indian reservation, shoot and kill children. And most of the warriors was out they did those attack when the when the Indian when the lady was tested with the children. Why would you shoot children and then do nothing to you? So it's a lot of things people don't understand about the flag and stuff like that, but I do. And they try to kick me out of school. I was only ten or eleven years old. My mother had to come to school. My mother, why are you gonna try to kick my son out of school? That's his constitutional right. He believed in what he was would believe in, and y'all believe in what y'all want to believe in. I'm not saying tell people not to, you know, disarm the flag, but I see it as different. I'm quite sure there's a lot of other Indians feel the same way I do, because to this day, they still not fair with the Indians. So, like, when everybody else can come in and get help, food stamps, and they're not even legal. So that's telling you 
who's running the country. And people be looking at me and thinking I'm stupid. I mean, you can't change stuff like that. Only person can change that is God Almighty. And I don't waste my time trying to fight with people. I, I walk away from a lot of things. It's like if you try to explain where the creator comes from, you be blind as a bat. Some people still uh, uh, so curious to know where he comes from. He just co-assists himself. He just appeared. Nobody know where he where it came from, but it's, he's there. I respect God. I, I, like I said before, I don't hate people that I respect people that fought in the war. I know a lot of people lost their lives, thousands of people, but people can't understand. You can't understand the present. You have to understand the past first to make it coexist with the present now. And I say it again. I spoke at an army base in Brooklyn. And the soldier didn't like what I was saying. And I had to go speak to their commanding officer. And he told him, don't disrespect me because I was here with, I was there with two other Cherokees. And uh, not the bootleg ones. I'm talking about real Cherokees that came from the south. They were from a reservation. We went there to speak. And they were like, oh, the last of the Mohegan. This is the army saying that. And like I said, that base is built right on a, army base is built right on a um, slave quarters because Brooklyn, New York was a slave capital of the United States. That's where all the slave boats just come in. So, people believe what they want to believe, but I'm just telling my point of view. I'm not patriotic to the flag. Hey, where you come from? You let him out? Hand him here. So, i talk to y'all again. Wait a minute, my wife trying to, my wife trying to get the cat. You should have, how you got him? This my, mm -hmm. So this is my cat. Hi. See everybody can see him. Tell me his name. His name is Smokey. Smoke signals. Yeah, smoke signals. He's looking. He wanna know what's going on. <laughs> so I'll talk to y'all later. Couldn't buy for now. Gonna die Wado. Take care and have a blessed day. But before I go, that's what I'm saying. I don't want nobody to get bad feeling towards the flag. That's just my point of view. But my point of view is right. Um, like I said before, the flag wasn't nice to American Indians or black Americans. And I'm quite sure if black Americans and Native Americans feel the same way I do. Look at Muhammad Ali, the boxer. They didn't treat him nice. And they, they, they like black male, they stripped him of his championship belt because he wouldn't go fight um, Asian people. I think the war was in Vietnam. And he he had to earn the belt all over again, which rightfully belonged to him. So they try to blackmail him. You don't go fight the the yellow man. You won't be champion of the United States no more. That's blackmail, and he did, he chose not to do it. He said, "I'm an American. Y'all need to help me in my own country and stuff like that. But y'all help other people." And he didn't, he, uh, and I respect Muhammad Ali for that. I'm the same way. They tried to draft me in 1972. That's when they said, come to your house and try to recruit you. And I said, I wasn't going, but against my religion. And I forgot, I don't know how I got out of that situation. I must say this against his religion and stuff like that. This was back in 1972. I was only about like 18, 19 years old. And a girl said, they didn't come. I just said, they used to come to people's house in the 70s. The military you should pull right up and they had to, they try to recruit you right at your house. That's another thing people don't know about. So like I said a second time. Donna Dai Wado. Uh have a blessed evening. I talk to y'all later. I might do a third part to the flag and my wife. Thank you for now. Goodbye.